invented was hot chocolate. Ooh. It's well known as hot chocolate all over the country. And most of the gay bars all over the country is hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Yes. Now, where did that name come from? Actually, from a friend of mine uh, from Florida. Uh, his name was Roxanne Russell. He, I had a, just a regular gimmick name, like just Larry Edwards. And he said, no, you have to have a fun gimmick name. So he came up with the hot chocolate because of the energy I prevailed on stage. He thought it'd be fun to do a, a campy, fun name. Okay, you are, speaking of energy, you're one of the hardest working people in our community. I see you everywhere. You're over here doing this it's on the exhausting. weekend. You're on the strip. <laughs> you're everywhere. How do you do it? How do you keep up the energy? Well, you know what makes me energized? It's just seeing people happy, being in an environment with people enjoying themselves, such a positive energy around me. That makes me, you know, motivated. It gives me that extra energy, energy to do things that I wouldn't normally do. And just, just that's motivation itself, seeing people having a good time. And that's what I'm all about, is having a good time, enjoying life, a living from day to day, just enjoying every minute that, that's given to you. Okay, so I know some people are looking at this going hot chocolate, but isn't it Tina Turner? <laughs> well, not tonight. <laughs> this is my hot chocolate look. Okay. Normally, I do the Tina Turner performance at Divas Las Vegas and Frank Marino's show six nights a week at the new hotel called The Quad, which is formerly the Imperial Palace. Wow. Yes. So that's where I do my Tina Turner impersonation, and I've done that for a few years now here in Vegas. So let me ask you, how did you get started? What made you decide one day, I'm going to just go for this? Where did this come from? Even as a kid, I've always been fascinated with makeup and the stage presence and the, all the actresses and the, the black singers, the lady singers. I've always been fascinated with women, like women. So I went to school at Massey Junior College the Fashion Institute in Atlanta and got the idea to work with makeup and work with models. Instead of putting on the models, I decided to put it on myself. And so. you do it so well. You do it so well. How long have you been in Las Vegas? I've been in Las Vegas for over 20 years. I actually moved here from Texas, and I moved here to perform in the show called Le the Evening at Lacage at the Riviera Hotel. That's where I first started my uh, career here in Vegas, and um, just been here ever since. The early 80s, 87, 86, you know, when mm -hmm. I first moved here. Mm -hmm. And I love Vegas. It's the entertainment capital of the world. Why not? Now, you embrace your real name, and a lot of people in your you know, profession do not. You never know what their real name is. What made you decide to do that? Well, it's a, for mainstream people want, you know, most people want to know your real name. If you go to the mainstream stream show like the Divas on the Strip, they want, to, they want to have the gimmick name of Hot Chocolate. Whereas in the bars, you know, it's fun, it's campy, it makes the mood. But in an um, environment like that where there's theater, there's a nice uh, casino, they prefer having uh, your legit name, which is Larry Edwards, my name. So. Okay, so let me ask you this. You're standing on top of the stages. You're in one of the hottest clubs in Las Vegas. You're working all the time. What does Larry Eric do for fun? Larry Anders, what does he do for fun? You know what I enjoy most of all? It's when my friends come from all over to visit to show them my city, Las Vegas. I love that. Showing them the glitz and the glamour and all the shops, all the, the you know, the, the casinos and all the shows here. We, we have so much to offer here. So that's what I do with my time. I have so many people come to visit. Every other week I'm entertaining a guest, so, and I enjoy that. And most of all, I love bringing them to the nightclub, especially this nightclub where I work at Piranha. It's fun. They can go and let the hair down and have fun. And we have two different DJs. We have music and uh, just great shows on weekends. So I love entertaining my guests. So that's what I do. You would think I would just relax, but I really? love keeping busy. You just keep going and keep going yes. and keep going. Now, the whole the whole idea behind Proud to Be Out is to give other people a voice that may not have one. I'm sure there's a young person looking at this right now who loves makeup, who loves the whole fashion, would love to do what you do when they grow up. What would you tell them? Go for the dreams. I will tell a person that's looking, for, looking towards their goals or whatever, just follow that dream, follow that goal, and just fulfill it. I'm proud to be out to be a female impersonator. That, that's what I'm proud to be out. Be a female impersonator. The art form of female impersonation has gone so mainstream, and I'm so proud of it. <laughs> yes, yes. You are absolutely amazing. I have been so looking forward to having this interview. 
ever since I had the great privilege of interviewing your sister in our last in our last issue of the magazine, and we intentionally did not mention your name because I wanted everybody to be surprised at exactly. And she talked about, you know, your family is very interesting. They embraced you guys so well. And she's doing what she does as an author. You're doing what you do as an entertainer. What's, how important is family to you? Very important. And I'm so proud of my sister for coming out because, she, it, you know, it took a while to find her essence, to find her being. And she had three kids. And after she had the three kids, she said, oh, no, 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 this is not the lifestyle I want to lead. I want to get married to a gay woman. I want to enjoy the life that I want to enjoy. My kids are old enough now, so why don't I enjoy myself? So I look up to my sister for doing that. And she's got a book out now that's really telling about her life, and I'm so proud of her for doing that. So I know you got to get back to work, and yes. I totally appreciate you taking out your time. I just got one more question. Hot chocolate, are you proud to be out? I am proud to be out! <laughs> The art of female impersonation is going to be here, now, and forever. Because what? We are simply the best. Mwah! Mwah! Mwah!